guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. and you guys might remember a few years ago I did a Studio Ghibli G Kids haul. So I picked up a whole bunch of these movies and I said that someday I would go back and complete the collection so that I would have all of the Studio Ghibli feature films. So that's exactly what we're doing today and we're just going to go ahead and start with the first one and that is Only Yesterday. I've only seen this movie once before in my life when I was much younger and I remember loving it. So I was really excited when this one came in. I actually got it off Amazon and it's uh, a little bit messed up. I don't know what that's about. But I do know that um, a lot of people said they've come back to this when they were older and watched it and loved it even more. So this is the one that came in that I'm the most excited about. This is a an older G Kids release. And that was back when they were doing just silver... Oh boy, you guys are going to see my weird ceiling. Uh, that's when they were doing these uh, silver discs. And no reverse covers. This is an older release. And I think some of the first prints did get a slip cover, but later ones didn't. So quite a few of these don't have the slip cover. It's not a big deal. I do know that G-Kids has their own shop up. And I would love if they actually went out of their way to sell the slip covers for some of these. I would totally buy them. Uh, I don't know if a company will ever do that, but it's one of those things that I would love. So that's only yesterday. This was done in um, 1991. My weird stickers are back. You're welcome. Me being a weird collector, because I like to keep these in order. So um, this is about a woman that is flipping back and forth between who she is now and what she was dreaming of when she was a girl. And she's trying to come to terms with, you know, is she living the life the way she wanted? I think, I think that's it. Um, this is Isao Takahara. I, I, I really like him as a director, so yeah, that's only yesterday. Next is one that I've never seen before. And I thought for some reason this was a TV movie. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't actually know. Uh, this is Ocean Waves, um, and this is from Tomomi uh, Mochizuki, I think is how that's pronounced. I might be wrong. This is Ocean Waves. I actually don't know anything about this. This is a complete blind buy for me, and this is why I'm doing this. I want all the Studio Ghibli stuff. This is Studio Ghibli. Um, there's this cute little short about like working at Studio Ghibli that's included in this release. This is another one where if you bought one of the earlier ones, there was a slip cover. Um, if you try to get that now, I did see one with its slip cover, like new, and it was $300, which is too much. Don't do that. No slip cover is worth that. This is the one that makes me go, maybe I should try like printing my own slip covers. <laughs> maybe someday. Well, again, this is another one. I'm going to blind the camera if I tilt them too much, but this is another no reverse cover, just plain discs. Looking at these, I'm really happy with how later uh, Studio Ghibli releases came out. This is The Tale of Princess Kaguya. This is one that I've always wanted to watch and never got around to it. For some reason, I just, I don't know what was going on in my life at the time, but I just never got around to it. But it looks beautiful. I mean, I really like the style. It looks like some old um, Japanese paintings come to life. This one's actually purple. I like that. DVD. And then Blu-ray and then the extras are on a bonus disc. So I don't know why this ended up on bonus disc instead of main discs. Um, I don't know if they're longer or what the deal is. Um, another thing I want to point out with these releases that seem to be from like 2014. I don't remember when they started with Studio Ghibli. Um, but these earlier G-Kids releases don't have books with like facts and images and stuff. But again, it's okay. I don't mind that. I'm just happy to own it. Um, I actually bought this one used for $9, which I think is pretty good. These still sell at pretty much full price when you go looking for them. Next up, When Marnie Was There, and this cover is so cute. I know nothing about this book that it's based on, and I know nothing about this film. The only thing I've ever seen from this are like stills and GIFs, um, and it just looks like it's a beautiful uh, animated feature. So, another one with oh, these blindingly bright silver discs. A little ad for Song of the Sea, which I need to pick up sometime. Here we go. Yes, not much to look at in there. Please tell me how you feel about this movie, because whenever I ask anyone about this, 
I get two answers. Either I loved it, it was perfect, it was exactly what I wanted, and other people say they felt gypped. It felt like <laughs> it was wrong in the end. I don't know. I will see what goes on in this movie when I finally watch it. Um, if you guys have any opinions on any of these that I'm showing, uh, leave them down in the comments. I always read them. I always like talking to you guys. So yeah, that's what I've been eating. And that came out in 2014. I think this was 13. Yes. Now, uh, by comparison, here is My Neighbors the Yamadas, which I did see a long time ago, and I, I don't remember it. <laughs> I remember liking it. Uh, this was done in 1999 really hysterical and incredibly relatable, so that sounds about right. This is not like your typical Ghibli style, but I do remember it being like super cute. I think it was based on um, something similar to it. can't remember. Here is the art, and here is the reverse slash inside art that I actually think is really cute. <laughs> I like this style. Of course you guys know I would like this style, because I like stuff, you know, like old Tezuka stuff and Osamatsukan and all that older stuff. Um, but yeah. I think Dylan actually got this one before I did. <laughs> Colors look fun in this. I don't know, I just really like this kind of stuff. They're so cute. So yeah, I need to read this and, uh, you know, actually sit down and watch it again, because I literally... It's strange how some things I remember really well when I watch them, and then other things, I don't know, it's like they don't leave enough of an impact, or it's just been too long and I forget. Um, but yeah, really excited to finally have that in the collection. A lot of these are ones that like, oh, I need to watch that. <laughs> Next up, Tales from Earthsea, which I hear is a really fantastic book. Um, I remember when this was coming out and Goro Miyazaki, everyone was like really had eyes on him about what he was going to do in the future. Um, I have not seen this one. And it's strange because sometimes like looking online, people say this is their least favorite Ghibli. And then other times I'll look at reviews and it's actually one of their favorites. So this is another one where it can probably go either way. Here is the DVD and Blu-ray. I think the art, this reverse art's cool. I like this. It uh, kind of reminds me with, of the reverse art that they did um, with Kiki's Delivery Service with the painting. But this is like a mosaic. Yes, if you have a film about dragons, put, put a giant dragon on it. Yes, I agree. <laughs> this is a good choice. So this also comes with its own little book, which I haven't even flipped through yet. I think I also got this used. It was also like nine dollars. Um, I love when they have this big background art like this. I love movies that, you know, have stuff like this. It just, ah, oh, it looks so cool. I know nothing about this film. It's giving me like a Nausicaa feel though. I don't know, I have a feeling I'll watch this and really like it. That's, gener <laughs> that's generally how it goes. People will tell me that they don't like it, but I'm like, I like it though. And this, uh, this movie was done in 2006. So the very last thing that I actually bought in store is The Wind Rises. And of course, if you ever saw Never Ending Man, the documentary, it's about um, Miyazaki specifically working on The Wind Rises. Part of me feels like I should get the documentaries, and then part of me is like, eh, I, I could take it or leave it. I don't know. Um, if I ever see them for a good price, I'll probably pick them up. This film looks beautiful. It looks very Miyazaki with all the blue skies and planes and all of the flowy dresses. Ah, it just, it feels so much like him. This gives me Porco Rosso vibes. But I'm sure the story is very different from what I did see. Here is the booklet. This is another one that will probably make me cry. Here's some of the art in the book. God, I'm just, I'm so happy that I did it. I finally got all of these. <laughs> it took so long, but finally, here they all are. Ah, uh, these later Miyazaki films, something about um, just the color and, and the background, it, they just feel so crisp and fresh. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the older stuff. It's what I grew up on, but I'm, I'm 
happy to see how, as a studio, they've been evolving. You know, just everything that they've been doing and just how much they've put out. And it's so specific. Everyone knows like Ghibli things. It's so cool to me. So that is everything that I picked up for this second part of Ghibli. I'm actually really happy that I have so much new things to experience. And actually, I really would love to hear what you guys think of all of these. Anyway guys, that's it for this one. Hi to all my subscribers, you guys rock. If you guys like these kinds of videos, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys know the drill. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!